Thank you for coming. Thank you for waiting. A high five is not enough. Please look for somebody, give somebody a hug, and say, I love you. It's a season of love. Please, you that is single, look for that sister God has been showing you in your dream. Go and hug her. I didn't say shake, hug. Look for that brother that has been single or game. Say, brother, I can't touch you. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is the season of love. It's not the season of politics. It's not the season of economy. It's the season of for God so love he gave. So it's time for you to give. It's time for you to give what? Not for you to receive. You to be a giver. So hug, don't hug woman. Don't hug woman. Woman should hug what? A man. So look for a man as a woman. And said, I love you with a, with a good intention. Look for a woman as a man and hug, not your wife. Hug somebody and say, I love you. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. Some people are hugging like assemblies of God. See, stop deceiving yourself. After church now, you see one brother in the street after seven. Hey, darling. The brother now hugs you well, gives you, please. Eh? Love is the most important thing. Faith without love is dead. Don't give, don't give assemblies of God a hug. The worst hug is deeper life. Don't give redeem hug. Please give somebody Christ embassy hug. Uh, we are, you want to go to heaven? Just die now. You want to go to heaven and you don't want to die. Eh? Stop the show somebody love. Give somebody Christ embassy hug with a clear conscience. Go ahead. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I think my own side is too high. Reduce my own microphone. Reduce my own. It's, it's too high. Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. Put your hands together as we sit down. Please sit down. I love you all. The church is alive. Is the church alive? Okay. Bow our head for prayers. Father, we thank you for this day in the name of Jesus. Thank you for all you have done. That whatever comes out from my mouth will come through you. And let it come through you to this my mouth. Don't let me speak on my own. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And let the church shout a louder amen. amen. Okay. Our topic is love, the commander of his glory. Love, the commander of his what? Okay. John chapter 3, verse 
15 he said that whosoever believeth in him should not what but have eternal what believing in jesus will give you what eternal life is sickness free everlasting life is longevity some people live long but don't have eternal life is that true some people die 80 with sicknesses but we as christians born again we will die 100 years and without sickness in jesus name you see somebody suffering from diabetes and he or she is 80 years is that a good life because they don't have what internal life internal life is sickness free everlasting life is longevity praise the lord love is the commander of his glory God's love is for every nation, not for some nation. Please, ushers, help me. Let nobody move around. God's love is for every what? God does not love America more than he loves Nigeria. He even loves Nigeria more than America. Praise the Lord. Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 12. Let's see what it says. Romans 10. Verse 12. It says, For there is no difference between the Jew and the what? And the what? Greek. It says, For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon who upon him america is not richer than nigeria i hope you know that i hope we know that uh -uh. america is not richer than nigeria uh, no they are not our problem is mismanagement are you understanding what i'm saying Nigeria spend money more than Americans. We are richer than them. How can we be so rich that people steal up to $50 billion? Huh? American annual project is lesser than that. So we are richer. Forget the skyscraper. Forget what they do there. We are rich. Praise the Lord. If you don't know, know that. It is your mindset that tells you, if I go to America, I'll be richer than in Nigeria. It's your mindset. God loves every nation. I'm a son of a fruit seller. Are you understanding me? I'm not ashamed. When God changed the situation of my mother... We were under mockery. Even till date, they asked, they asked, how come he became successful? He has joined Yahoo. Because if a young man succeeds, he's supposed to be among the Yahoo. I say, come, I'll teach you. I'll teach you how Jesus worked these things. Praise the Lord. And that was why, and that is why, to get a laptop is very difficult. I refuse. Are you understanding me? Anywhere success is, there must be a name. You love God, that's why you are here. Praise God. Let's go to the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. We all know it, but let's go. Please open your scripture. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Can we read together? One, two, ready, go. I can do all things through who? Which what? 
It is not your certificate that makes you rich. It is through who? We as a born again, we came into Christ rich. We don't walk our prosperity. Christ have already what? Given it to us. Deuteronomy said, I have given you the power to make what? Wealth. So you can't struggle. Are you understanding me? I grew up here. Yeah, my father was giving me excuses why he wasn't rich at a certain time. I got tired. I said, it's okay, sir. <laughs> Reverend Boma. Anugum. <laughs> Let everybody rest. From that day, I started walking my way out of poverty. As a child, don't sit down and relax and say, after all, my father is poor. How can I be rich? Eh? That means your mental state have what? Problem. Poverty is not the lack of money. It is a mindset. Are you understanding me? What I am wearing is free. The shoe is free. The abada is free. The watch is what? The air I'm breathing is free. Everything. The only thing I bought is the boxers that is inside. Is what? Can you work for God and remain hungry? Even though I want to talk to you, I will never tell you, give me money. Huh? I will tell God to bless you, and later you will be the one to come and bless me. I can't ask you for money. I will tell God to give you. If you are greedy, keep it. If you are not greedy, you do what? You will bring it. For God so loved the world, he did what? He gave. So love is the commander of God's glory. If you want to see the best in your husband, what do you do? You show him what? Love. Through submission. You can't control a man by commanding him. It's by loving him. So some of you who are looking for native doctor to put your husband inside a bottle, Papa Maker, you must listen to me. I say, you must what? Listen to me. Ibish. The man now come. You want to control him like fool. The man say, hey, hey, hey. My friend, my eyes open. He said, this thing need to work. Oh. No. I saw it in my mother. Now my mother controls my father. You say, Boma, you're not going anywhere. Sit down. That place you're going is not important. My father say, yes, general overseer. <laughs> but before, who are you? Are you understanding me? There's a story that happened. Every time my mother wants to go to church, that's when my father wants to have sex. I don't teach from another man's headlamp. I teach from my own experience. Every day, my father used to go to O, 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 Boom. And my mother goes to assemblies of God. Every time she wants to leave, my father wants her sex. She will never say no. It got to a time my dad was in the church by 5 a.m. She was wondering where he went to. So my mom went to church and saw him at the front seat and said, what are you doing here? He said, is it only you that wants to come to church? After one week, people from another church came to preach to him. It made it easy and he gave his life to Christ. If my mother was rebellious, my dad wouldn't have been a reverend today. Are you understanding me? Don't follow the modern word that said it's equal right. There is no equal right. Holy Spirit can't take the place of Jesus. Jesus can't take the place of Holy Spirit. Everybody have responsibility. Are you understanding me? He said, if I do not go, the Spirit will not what? Come. So the Holy Spirit have his own what? Responsibility. I want to carry God's glory and you are hating people. 
God is telling you to love, you can't carry it. Are you understanding me? Love is blind, but in Nigeria, it can see money. And that is fake love. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Walking in love is a person who knows God. First John 4, 8. Because of time, we'll read it. Walking in love is a person who knows who? God is love. And love is God. And don't also forget, it's a consuming fire. Are you understanding me? My father, uncle came. He said, you, I heard you've joined court. I said, yes. <laughs> Learn to start giving people the reply they want to what? They want to hear. He said, I heard you've joined I said, it's true. He said, today, your father didn't tell you who I am. I said, I know you already. <laughs> you are the king of this community. But I came as the king of kings. I have not even gotten to this level. Kindergarten anointing. I placed my hand on his eye. I said, you will die. I wasn't afraid. My father denied me. He said, it's not my son. No, leave him home. He's my wife's uh, brother, son. He's the one I told you. He's, he's helping us in the house. I said, Tah! keep quiet. I'm your son. You, you will die. <laughs> Seven days, I went back home. I say, God, if you know you will use me, kill him. If you know you will not use him, you will not use me, leave him. I didn't pray again. <laughs> On the seventh day, he was coming out. There is a specific, I can give you my location, tell you my community, which is Abloma. Go to Abu family, ask them. There is a particular tree that was there. He used to go every morning to pour drink. He woke up in the morning. On the sixth day, while walking, he had cap and he was on the ground. They say your leg has shifted. He looked at it. From the leg, it became a stroke. From stroke, he has to die. So when I come into that particular place, I'm not telling you because I want you to be scared. I'm telling you because of who, who you are in what? In Christ. God is not looking for emotional people. God is looking for people who have the love for him to free his people. Moses was a man who had love for God, but his heart was hardened against the people of Egypt. Suffer not the winds to what? He died. My father, his early brother, started. That one now is sick. I say, you will die, you, you will die. Adoki, you will die. Let your mouth run as a Christian. If you close your mouth, it will smell. And the devil will use your life as what? Or kada. That mouth you are using to insult people, use it positively. You will see how your life what? will change. When you love, you walk in wonders. When you love, you walk in what? A woman told my mother, Florence, you're a thief. That's what they call Oimi in Portacot. You know Oimi? Oimi is every Wednesday market. The woman who was staying in face you, I face you. The woman went to the market. You didn't call the woman thief in the compound. It was when you went to the market, you now call her thief. My biological mother. And everybody say, ah, madam, then say you be thief. That woman we did there. My mom said, I know thief. Coconut, coconut. Eight coconut. She said, my mom stole eight. One, two, three. This coconut now can buy in full dozen. Then they said that was what my mom stole. My mom cried. She refused to buy anything. She came back home and told my dad. My dad have to hide and cry. That because of what? Poverty. But my mother didn't let go because my mother had to set example. My mother went in front of their house and she went on her knees 
That woman's name is Rose. She said, Madam Rose, I have called you mommy every morning and I greeted you with the love of God. But you went to embarrass me and call me a thief. Meanwhile, I didn't stay. Between you and I, I steal life from you. When you insult people for what they do not do, you will bear the consequences. There is nothing like grace to help you because grace didn't help your mouth. Before you do that, grace should be able to help your... You attack me by mistake, you will die by correction. That should be our orientation. Three days, which is on Friday. She said it on Wednesday. Friday early hours, they took the mother out. They took the woman out. And the son is my friend. And from that day, even me, I fear my mother. My father. Ah, Gio. Gio, please now, help my life. I no go chop. <laughs> if it's before, my friend, by this time. <laughs> but everybody in the house started acting like deputy Jesus because we were scared how can a woman that does not climb the altar went on her knees and pointed her hand on Friday the person died won't you be scared won't you be scared I have to call my mother you sure say you know be winch I just want no put us for trouble though even though it be winch, I go manage you. It be my mother. This woman, they go arrest you. My mother say, if they try it, all of them in their family will go. That part of Christianity, I love that part. Don't take people love for what? Granted. Are you understanding what I'm saying? When you walk in love, the Holy Spirit will manifest himself through you. I'm going to illustrate that later, but I'm just rushing because of time. Love is from the heart. Matthew 22, 36 to 40. Love is from where? It's from the heart. Some people say, I'm tired of loving. You will keep loving though. Eh? You never say anything. If you like... Say, I will not love again. I'm tired of relationship. You stay for five years. If you resume, they will still break your heart. <laughs> huh? They say, I'm tired. I'm going for a break. It's okay, go. Come back again. The heartbreak is waiting. You must learn. Pastor, you know many men have broken my heart. Thank you. You super glue. If super glue can be okay, you six inches nail nail it but love continues and love wins are you understanding me for god so loved the world people are killing people but he still love is that not true love oh i love you my darling hmm. love kill you dear i go say love kill him you must love he loved me now he know if he buy me new phone see the nonsense nonsense phone now they use you, where you keep your money? Eh? Honey, you've not called me for three days. You as a woman, if you call him, will you die? Eh? Women, you answer me. You answer me. You that have been complaining, you've not, my husband have not called me for three days. What happened to your phone? Your phone not only to the receive. You know the call. You must call her. Women say, my husband does not love me, so it's difficult for me to submit. Ta. Your responsibility is to submit. His responsibility is to love. The day you both go to heaven, you will know there is no husband and wife. Then that time you stand alone. Madam, you were not submissive. You were challenging. Well, my husband, there is no, where is your husband? You can't find him. <laughs> they have millions of men. Praise the Lord. So if you are finding it difficult to submit because there is no love, you have a problem. Because first, you must accept the love of God. Any other love that comes in 
is Jara. Are you understanding what I'm saying? You must accept God's love for you that any other love that comes in is what? Extra. You think being rich is having 10 cars. It's a lie. You eat in the morning, eat in the afternoon, eat in the night. You have shoes, you have clothes. You are what? You are rich. The extra on top is having five cars. Eh? Those are the degrees on top. So stop killing yourself. If you can't buy expensive stuff this year, you are rich. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I want money. More money, more what? <laughs> I want anointing. More anointing, more temptation. There is nothing you want in this world that does not backfire the other, in the other side. I want husband. My uncle wife was telling me yesterday. He said, <laughs> he said, I go do now. Now husband, why they pray for? I don't get them. So they thank God. <laughs> are you understanding me? You are praying for husband. Husband has come. You are, which one are you praying for? To divorce? It's not possible. So you keep thanking God for the husband that have come. <laughs> Neither his raska mono or mono raska or Jesus Christ car. You must what? Thank God. When this man married me, I was so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Before, will you remain the same? Are you God? You must change. Stomach must come out. Eh? My mom married my father as a white bra bra bra. But as I'm talking, that woman now, we don't know the difference between light color and dark color. I'm the one now going about buying cream. Asking them question. Everybody is asking me, you go kill yourself for this, your mother. He should say, your son with you, Nani, they did. My mother say, leave me now. If my son say he won't care for me, he no go leave him. I bought how many cream? He's not working. My mother say, leave him now. Your father change him. <laughs> so, you can't kill your... Do according to your capacity. Don't leave your business and fight other people's business. Fight your own and assist others. Christianity is not about minding your business. If you see a brother fighting, you ask, sir, what happened? Are you understanding me? Somebody that was trying to fight me last month, he, did, he doesn't know I was a man of God. He said, no, no. Now you tell him, say, no, pay me. Say, you ain't going to pay you me one time, don't come. I never see the man since he don't run. The man hooked me. Up. I know it's no day for that one. He hooked me. I told security, hold on. The man hooked me. Uh, okay, Moshe, Moshe. I can't do like say I be man. Yeah. The man come again, hook me. I say, ah, uh ah. -uh. With a fight, he they hook my neck. He won't kill me. He go I go there alive, fight you now. Not be so. Why can't they strangle my neck? Why could fight you? They strangle my neck. He won't kill me. The man say no verse. I say no fight no mind. They can't strangle my neck. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Stop minding your business in some certain things. Show love to your neighbor. Are you understanding me? When you love, God will place you higher in him. I know prayer warriors that have prayed for six months, 100 days fasting. They are not still anointed because their heart is not pure. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I'm a prisoner of love. I can't give up. Without wasting time, scriptural proof of your love for God. Number one, scriptural proof of your love for God, you will obey him if you love God. John 14, 21. If you love God, you will do what? You obey him. It won't be difficult. Someone dashed me two point something million. I say, God, this money be go. Hmm? Some of you go and put it to save it. What are you saving the money for? I took it. I started my foundation. 
Another one came. I did for my foundation. Because I was obeying God. My mother taught me how to give. Every time I said to my mommy, I love you. But I don't give her any money. So anytime you say I love you and money is not involved, that means you don't love the person. My mom said, hey, Abel, my son, if you say you love me, 50 naira that you have, share with me. Are you understanding me? He said, if you tell me you love me, from the 50 naira you have, share. From that day till tomorrow, that's how I do. Are you understanding me? From your salary, show love to God. From your salary, show love to your parents. Don't only pay tight. Appreciate them. If you can't give when it's small, you can't give when it's big. If I have billion, my mom say you're a thief. I say, the Bible says we should have billions. I, my mother says you're a thief again. I say billions, thief, thief. You have small, you can't give. You are talking billion. Billion will be too mighty now. Praise the Lord. So money became nothing. If you take my phone now, take my shoe, take my cloth, it's okay. Leave Jesus. I'll find favor. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Women think that they are the only ones suffering from me. If you don't sleep with me, I will not give you a job. Do you know men suffer from it? Eh? Because they said violence is only for women. <laughs> if, you, if you molest them, if you, they will arrest you. But you don't ask. Do they also do that to men? They also do. I've gotten to an opportunity where they say, give this man 20 million. The woman says, it's my opportunity, man of God. The way you are doing, you will be very good in bed. I say, eh? she said again, I say, what? Is it for a bar? Is it for what? Is it for what? Is it for a bar? She said, no. It's for your waist. I said, I don't want. Now, shower, you don't tell me now. Short time. I don't want to do, keep your money. Are you understand what I'm saying? Christians give condition to what? To people. If you love God, you will obey him. Not give condition. Be your brother's keeper. He didn't say give your brother condition. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Sleeping with another person does not transfer anointing. That's mentality from the pit of hell. It will only transfer spirit, bad spirit. Are you understanding me? After fornicating, can you tell God, thank you for a successful sex? Can you tell God, thank you after doing evil? Anything that will make you can tell God, thank you. There is no need doing it. It's a sin. If you love God, you do what? You obey him. John 14, 21. If you love God, you will love his word, which is the word of God. Psalm 119, verse 97 to 100. Number three, if you love God, you will do his will. Psalm 122, verse 1. If you love God, sorry, that one is, if you love God, you will love his house. Psalm 122, verse 1. Some of you, came back because you love God, not because of me. You were expecting one big man. Now one young boy, now come, how far? Eh? I wasn't what you were expecting. Now that's why you saw that my face, that the, I don't know how the, the man who did that thing. So were you the one? You are the, you are the one. It was another person. They now made my head something else. I say, God, Mary, me, Mary. So I don't know who you were expecting, but when I came, it wasn't me. He said, ah, I just said, now one person will grab the door. No, I slim short. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are here in his house. You are waiting. What do I want to say that you've not heard before? But you are still here. And God will reward you in Jesus' name. If you love God, you will win souls. 
Psalm 119, verse 46. If you love God, you do what? You win souls. In my CFA class, I won 385 souls. Because of me, the church started second service, third service. I won't call the name of the church. While graduating, I brought 200 and something people to church, life. I became the financial what? No, sorry, God forgive me. They transport this uh, kabu kabu position. Uh, boss, what are they calling it? Boss, you want to help me now? Now we go to school. Me in the backyard I go. Uh, I just, that's just one evil man say, You can't be here. I bet you're a thief. You can't be here. They come out me for the position. I joined media. They say, hey, You can't be here. You are manipulating things. I leave the department. I join evangelism again. You can't be here. You think you are the only one that can bring people to church? I come up for the department. I can't go back to media. We are the now employed me for appreciating me every month, 20, 20,000. Then I was carrying speaker on my head, climbing up. They sacked me. I was frustrated though. I say, God, you say he called me. I know sure my phone no ring. I took back my I was a DJ and what they call PIMP. I took back my bag as I'm going back to the club. I went back. They say, ah, DJ Exodus, are you back? I said, I don't come back. Oh. I bring my CD. They say, go. I used to play from 9 p.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning. On Sunday, I don't let people go to church. I give them bedu. They will dance, dance, dance. Anything I want to do it, I do it well. If you are serving God, serve God well. How can a DJ play music from 9 p.m. to 8 p.m.? I hold them. They were dancing. If you are the director of the club, won't you increase my salary? I was playing music. This woman saw me that won the club. He said, you are very good. I will increase your salary. Then the other one was 25. They moved me to 35. On that person said, we employ you. They moved me to 45. And I said, we employ you. They moved you to 7. So devil was promoting me. <laughs> God said, I will deal with you. I said, how? Nothing. Leave that in. <laughs> Praise the Lord. One prophet came. Then I said, bye, yeah. God, I say, wash, wash, I beg, no, yeah. You know, they there when they sack me. I think the noisemakers. The last day I was going, a prostitute broke a bottle and said, if you don't go back, my son, I will kill you. Other people were with me. They say, ah, I shall walk. They talk. I said, this is the voice of God. If you don't go back, it was not the prostitute calling me my son, it was God. I carried my bag. I like my life. <laughs> I zipped it. I left. That was how God fully brought me into the kingdom. And I traveled out of Nigeria to do ministry. And I've opened more than 60-something churches. I'm in my early 30s. So I'm young. I'm not old. Hmm? You that is 50, what have you done for the kingdom? If you love God, do what? We so. How many people have you brought to church from January to this moment, but you have listed out 100 requests for God to answer? Show you the white God. Eh? Almost sing them. You the wine, you can't wine God now. A native doctor will kill cow for a request. You win soul, he say no. To kill and to win, which one is better? Win soul. Win soul, oh. ladies, choir. You people think you are beautiful. Hey, baby, how you doing? Oh, darling, I'm fine. When we go see, come church. 
after church, we go go lunch. You never catch them. Eh? Holy Adao, answer me now. I don't have your time. Thank you. And you are single, low. If all the born again, that's what you are looking for. A God fearing man. A man who prays 20 hours. That does not qualify a man to be a husband. He can speak in tongues for 20 hours. Who cares? Is that a quality? I want a God fearing man. The one that are drinking beer. Who will marry those ones? One pastor said, Abel, I want a virgin. I said, when you were a bad boy, those ones with this virgin, how far? Who go go marry them? The things you have spoiled, go back to look for it. Marry them and amend it. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Being a virgin does not qualify you to be a good wife. After all, he married me as a virgin. Thank you. Do we use it to go to share, to collect money? It's for your own. The Bible said, do not... Your what? Your flesh. is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So if you are thinking... It wasn't your right. It's your business. If you think it's your right, it's still your business. Your righteousness is between you and God. So any man judging you is wasting time. Use your beauty. Win solo. Some of you, your skirt now is longer. Tomorrow now, you give, today Jesus is with your life. Tomorrow you collect back your life. You now what the one that is shot in the street who will not rest. If they say, honey, can we see today? I'm going to church. The condition, not condition, but just more. Come to church. After church, we'll just go to the restaurant. Are you understanding me? See a smoker, preach, whistle. The smoker who changed might be the husband you are looking for. You are looking for, you know. <clears throat> We are too religious. We are looking for red maid. The one another woman has suffered for. Hey, just look at this. Edda, please stand up. Just look at this man. You're married now, right? With kids. One young lady of 30. Now said, it is the one I want to marry. Does it make sense? Your wife have labored, suffered. And you have gotten to some certain level. Red maid. Now the one we define. Why will God punish you? Why don't you look for the boy who is still looking for work? Struggle with him. If that one too break your heart, find another one. Of course, will you kill yourself? You are laboring. You are investing. There is no love that is wasted. You are gathering wisdom. You are not gathering experience. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So don't say experience is the best. No, wisdom. So you are gathering. The way you work on your first relationship is always different from your second relationship. I hope you know that. You broke with your relationship, the first one. Then the second one, you said, this, is, this was what broke our first relationship. So let me amend this my character. But this our Indomie generation. We say, no, if they want to go, let them you now go back to the pastor. Pastor, pray, pray. That one is fake. Pray. You, you are the fake. Take responsibility. Are you understanding me? Take what? Don't just grow. Have beer, beer everywhere. Two weeks you shave. That makes you a woman. You wear pata. Those things are nonsense. Be mature. Take responsibility. Maturity is responsibility. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I wish I would talk in this church women's conference. <laughs> you will like the 10 responsibility of women I will give. You don't need to go to doctor. I will teach you. Hmm? The Bible said, keep yourself clean as a woman. Get back your shape as a woman. It's in the Bible. But some of you, you allow yourself fat and say this is what the Lord has done. And you expect the man to be looking at you every morning and say you are beautiful. It's a lie. That is marriage scam. 
Your husband married you fat, stay fat. Your husband married you slim, stay slim. Your husband married you medium, stay that medium. Anyhow you are before you came in, stay that way. That's the way he loves you for. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Don't kill yourself, oh. Hmm? Number five. If you love God, you will love his people. First John chapter 4, verse 20 to 21. If you love God, you will do what? You will love his people. Stop hating some women who have decided to dress to cover all their body. Say this one now, old fashion. Leave them with their old fashion. You that is wearing gowns, sleeping all around. Who is more better? Ah, oh, you don't know. I came to gossip. Oh, you don't know. You have not seen it. Those women who wear long, long gowns that covers everywhere. You don't know most of them are loose. It's not wearing short skirts now. Those ones who wear short skirts, who wear all those things, are not even sexually addicted. It is you who is killing yourself. Say this one, Nasha, who, nothing concerns them. But those ones who are wearing long gowns, they have caught them many times now. So why judging people? We are your own. Have peace of mind. Are you understanding me? Don't see guests in the church. We are many scared. Don't worry. One day, God will arrest them. But don't judge them. Income church contempt people. If you check her where, she's a virgin. Yes, most of them are what? A virgin. Those ones who are wearing long gowns, come. So don't judge the book by the cover. The way I see this man's wife, she looks like a loose woman. Every time she sits down, her tie shows. Now the way she grew, you know me say she did misbehave. You, how you grew? Are you understanding what I'm saying? Christianity now is where a group of religious people, is where a group of people just gather that are also sinning in different ways and also judging others for sinning in another way. Who are we deceiving? The wicked people on earth are Christians. Uh, you don't know. You don't know. Christians are wicked, though. They shock you. Continue. Huh? Wrist watch <laughs> and cup of tea. Christians are wicked. I will tell you. I went to the airport from Akwaiba. That's why I would have been here since. As I want to go, the man look at me and say, You can't go. I said, This is an Amun Suo. I was explaining to myself, <laughs> the man wasn't hearing me. And he didn't allow me to enter. I used me, I, we will fight. But I don't know what happened. I was telling Papa, I don't know what, I can't even get angry. That was when I knew God was leading. And now I have to spend extra money to move to Abuja, 90 something thousand. I moved to Lagos. The issue is that there were flights. Not that there was no money. There was what? There was flight. So I have to just do it. Because I know the devil was at, at work. Christians are wicked. I, when I was living, he was telling another person, Oh, thank God for waiting. God don't do. You know, say yesterday, I've been one come out. Somebody just give me money. I was looking at him. Go say, hold yourself. Me? You've not seen man who have mouth. One woman was abusing my mother. <laughs> my mother was down. They were shouting 4-0. <laughs> because the woman have given her four points. My mother does not have point. I went to the bathroom. I said, God, tell me what to tell this woman. Let the case close. God just told me one thing. You think the Holy Spirit does not gossip? 
Vidyana, God just told me one thing. I just came. I just told the woman. No be you. Church close. Everybody say. Hey. Ah, madam, now you do that, you know. Hey. It, her husband separated from her now for six months. <laughs> they say, bear your mouth too bad. I say, mm. he no been bad when he insult my mother. So sometimes, stop fighting. Just go back. Ask God, give me one word. They call you thief. As a Christian, you keep quiet. <laughs> Tomorrow, another person will call you thief. And before you know, you naturally become thief. That's why you don't call your children different names. Stupid boy. He will be stupid. Nonsense husband. Don't worry. Now, three months time, he will be more nonsense. My husband is a cheater. He has not started. He only admire women. But you call him cheater. It's okay. He will start. Don't accept what you are not. Not by fighting, by saying, this is not me. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Hmm? So, if you love him, you also serve him. John 21, verse 15, 16, and 17. If you love him, you will love to give. First John 3, 17 and 18. If you love him, you will give. Why is love important? Quickly, number one, love is a gateway to revelation of God's love. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9 to 10. Love is a gateway to revelation of God's what? Love. Number two, your faith walketh by love. Galatians chapter 5, verse 6. Because of time, I'm rushing. Hmm? By faith, your faith worketh by what? By love. Number three, your fasting and prayer is accepted when you walk in love. Isaiah 58, verse 7. Number four, your supernatural victory is guaranteed by love. First John 5, 4. Abada Nawoko. Hmm? Your supernatural victory is guaranteed by what? By love. God is not from your village. So if you hate people, they can't, God can't take permission from you before he blesses them. Is God from your village? Eh? God loves all nations. Are you understanding me? Number five, you enjoy kingdom wealth. First King 3 3, First Corinthians 13 3. You enjoy good health. Number six, why is love important? You live in good health. Hmm? The other one is wealth. This one is health. Walk in love. You will get divine health. Number seven. You can't fail when you walk in love. First Corinthians chapter 13 verse 8. You can't fail when you walk in what? So how many times your heart is broken? It doesn't matter. You can't fail. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I've seen a lady gotten up to 10 heartbreaks. But the man she married became perfect. That the man loved her more than he loved his mother. Before this man will eat, he will make sure his, the wife has eaten. Huh? Me. And I say, honey, can I eat for you? Thank you. Before I close work, I don't chop too much. Honey, have you eaten? No. Ah, when? <laughs> Go to the kitchen, prepare me food. I will not eat double. Eh? But the man will first of all allow his wife to eat before he starts eating. You will get such love in Jesus' name. Your love will not die in Jesus' name. 
So relationship from the beginning, a man can love from 40. You see the man now loving back. So it doesn't stay on one part. It falls. Eh? So don't feel it's only the woman that can love. Don't think it's the only man that can love. Both of you must balance the equation. When one is tired, one picks up. Are you understanding me? Stop living Western life. You are in Nigeria. They say, he's tired, let me go. No, if he's tired, you carry on. Eh? Before you two, you get tired. Him will pick up. Are you understanding me? Are you understanding what I'm saying? Okay. Hmm? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number eight. You operate in the science and wonders of God. John 14, 21. Number nine. When you walk in love, you carry God's nature. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 19. You carry what? God's nature. And number 10, which is the last one, you become untouchable and unbeatable when you walk in love. 1 John chapter 4, verse 15 to 17. You become what? Untouchable. You become what? Unbeatable when you walk in love. Love everyone, but trust in the Holy Spirit. Is someone blessed today? Are you blessed? And the Bible said Jesus closed the book. Look at your neighbor, eyeball to eyeball. Say neighbor. Neighbor, neighbor. I love you. Please look at that neighbor's eye. So I don't know. Some of you, you can't look at people's eye. Are you a winch? Look at somebody's eye. That's the only Igbo language I know. <laughs> so look at somebody's eye. Sir, is she your wife? Your wife. Uh, it makes it easy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many years ago you looked at her? Opportunity have come. Look at, look at, look at. You look at someone. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, neighbor. My sweet. I'm not your neighbor. <laughs> My neighbor. Say neighbor, neighbor. <laughs> Mommy, where your neighbor? Ah, find your blood group, go now. I don't understand. Mommy, go and meet your blood group, I beg. Ah, 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 ah. Look, your neighbor, even your neighbor is a man. Don't come here to pretend. Look, your neighbor. Is it? Now, today, where is Sabi Bati? Now, me go come to you. Look, your neighbor's face. Mama, sit down there and look. Our papa, young man's face. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Are you looking at me? Look at my eyes. I love you. I love you so much oh, from the bottom of my heart to oh, this christmas how far <laughs> mama i think that is the christmas one if you want to learn how far they look no, don't do it again your that time has passed Mama, you're an evil woman. So when it is this Christmas, how far? That's when you want to talk well. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody, tell him that I love you. Put your hands together and... Oh, yeah, nah. oh somebody, somebody, tell him that I love you. I love you. Oh yeah. Two people.
I praise the Lord. Lift up your two hands, keyboard only keyboard. Lift up your hands and begin to confess your love towards God. Tell him, God, I love you. I may not know what I'm doing, but I know in my heart, consciously, I love you. Lift up your hands. Tell God that. I know we want prophecy, but I can't do that without God's word. Say, God, I know with what I do is the action not to prove that I love you, but now I know I love you. Consciously tell him that you love him. Lift thy hands up. Tell him, surrender unto him. Tell him, I love you. God, I love you. Let your glory shine upon me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let your glory, I love you, consciously. Help me in the place of my action. Lift up your hands. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Lift up your hands. Tell him, I love you, Lord. Lift your hands up. Tell him, God, have mercy on me. Your love. Let your love increase in me. In the name of Jesus, before we get into worship, put your hands, your two hands on your chest. Say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. I kill the love of money. Say it. I kill the love of money. Let your love increase in me. Every love for money die. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing shall be added until you love God who is the provider of the money. The money will not come. So God, let the love of money die. Let your love increase. Let the love for money die. You have been seeking for breakthrough. It's not happening. It's time to say, God, it's time I seek for you. Lift up your hands has come to pass. Lift it above your head. Oh Jesus Christ. See what the Lord has done. From January to this day. See it? What we waiting for has come to pass. Lift up your hands, sing it with us. say lift up your hands you are so this the volume is too high reduce it lift up your hands 
there is a woman I'm seeing you are bleeding is 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 not normal see what the Lord has done and see what he has done that has come to pass as I'm talking to you if you are that lady go back to the bathroom check yourself right now God has healed you in the name of Jesus thank you mighty father there is another woman I'm seeing lower abdomen your abdomen you are having series of pain and another person novel I see God healing you right now in the name of Jesus and someone under the sound of my voice you have been taking infection drugs but it seems like that thing is not going God has healed you in the name of Jesus you came here to church with migraine shake that head God just healed you migraine headache is gone migraine headache is gone in the name of Jesus there is someone under the sound of my voice that your sister have been buried for long as I just talked to you by December she will be two months pregnant I hear God as man hears his friend by December by this time she will be what two months pregnant thank you mighty father there are healing taking place that place that you are not feeling comfortable put your hands there and we'll feel the healing and the Holy Spirit touch touch I saw also a very critical also is leaving someone in the name of Jesus there is a sharp pain someone is having on a leg when God speaks to one he speaks to all sharp pain on your leg I command that sharp pain disappear in the name of Jesus I command that neck that stiff neck be free in the name of Jesus I command that soft throat be healed in the name of Jesus I decree that eye infection be healed in the name of Jesus you are too young to wear eyeglass be healed in the name of Jesus I decree that every disappointment has ended now in the name of Jesus the interview you went for last week this has a point disappointment coming this week in the name of Jesus every loss of love you have for your spouse God has restored that love in the name of Jesus I decree in the name of Jesus every stomach upset be healed in the name of Jesus I decree every pain in that marriage God has healed you in the name of Jesus every distraction in that marriage God has healed you in the name of Jesus someone you have been appointed for surgery I came to tell you that God has taken away that issues as you go back home to find that sickness you see it no more in the name of Jesus as I'm talking to you people are getting healed if you check it and that thing you have been seeing or feeling is no more there come out for your testimony but as I'm talking to you someone is having pain on her breast touch it press it it's gone in the name of Jesus I hear God as man hears his friend there is a man here listening to me your private part does not stand well God tell me to tell you that from now to five minutes count it God has restored back your private part in the name of Jesus thank you mighty father there is a divorce process in this house but I came to tell you that that marriage will not go away there is a restoration in the name of Jesus someone that is owing somebody here up to 500,000 from now to tomorrow I see it specifically 500 you are going to be called for that payment your amen is dead I see another person they are owing you hundred thousand 
they are bringing that money to you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. For those you are also owing, God sent me to tell you that you too will be favored to pay back. In the name of Jesus. A rent that they've told you by from now to the 15th of December, they will quit you. I came to tell you that God has favored you with that house. The specific person I'm talking, you are living in one room, the toilet, you share it with public. From this smelling public compound, I saw God moving you to two bedroom. I can point these people out. See what the Lord has done. No, no. That is, that is a specific spirit I'm looking for from the Almighty God. I'm at the gauge, but I'm not crossing. You, you know the song. You don't know the song. Who knows the song here? See what you, you know the song. They know the song, but I'm looking for that vibe. That thing. That, that's something I'm looking for. See what the Lord has done. Uh -huh. What we pray for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. As you sing See what the Lord has done. Lift up your hands. We need an extra microphone. Sir, in the realm of the spirit, this one is what I'm seeing. Microphone. Uh, are, you, are you from Yoruba? Yes, sir. From what I'm seeing, I'm seeing God putting you in a position next year, before the month of August. Eh? This position I'm talking about have to do with new financial level. Is, is your wife here, sir? Is your wife here? Where is she? God will answer your prayer through this man. Eh? Presently, is there, there is a car, right? There is a car. But this car is for who? It's for you. She only enters it on Sunday. You only enter that car on Sunday. It's okay. We will soon hear your car. The trumpet. Ping, 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 ping. If, come now. Should I close with you? I see you doing busy body. Like, you know what they call busy body. You were blowing horn even when it's not necessary. Ping, ping. So then like, who is shouting? She not wind that. It's me, oh, it's me. It's a good news. Are you understanding me? But I'm seeing you personally around ministry. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So the Lord said, take ministry serious. Eh? You know, there are some churches you go, you won't give much details because of the public. Eh? There are some things I'm seeing, I can't say, but I'm seeing prosperity in 2023. So this thing is like appointment. Hold your hands with your wife. No, no, no. Are you both of you are not business partner? Oh, yeah. How did you have your children? Uh -huh. Somebody should guide them. There is a visitation here. There, there is a visitation here. Thank you, Lord, for your manifestation. We need a woman here. We need a man there. 
There is, there is a visitation. There is a visitation. There is a visitation. Sir, have you been able to travel out? Have you made effort? But you wish to. To go and do my passport, but I've not really have interest. Somebody told you. Because I'm seeing by seven months from now, I'm seeing you at the international airport. And you carried your bag. The Lord said you are the one delaying yourself. No, don't open your eyes. Close your eyes. There is a visitation in this family. Because there is so many things you are complaining. Is that not true? There are many things you are complaining. If I say them, it doesn't make me a prophet. What makes me a prophet is when they have come to pass. Eh? Father, we touch this family. We agree as a church. Let your manifestation start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. These seven things in 2023. Yes. December first week, you will experience the first thing. Yes, take it. Take it. Take it. The spirit of God is in this family. Hold her very well. The anointing. So the Lord is showing me this foundation is not what is holding you. He has said to you, put this thing out. Have you ever walked into your house? You observe cobwebs. That's before where you were living to. Because I'm seeing a new glory. I'm seeing you carrying the Bible after the success of God. Lift your two hands. Father, give him. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing, I'm seeing government too. I'm seeing pastor, government. Pastor, government. Are you an engineer? Into logistics. Into logistics. I see you engineering stuff where you were bringing down. You wouldn't know how it will happen, but there is a connection God has given to somebody to bring to you. Please do the passport. Don't frustrate my prophecy. If you do so, I'll be angry. Bring it. Do the. Eh? Are you understanding what I'm saying? Eh? And listen to your wife. She's the one listening to her. He doesn't listen to you talk now he think he knows everything eh? what thing concern me and you talk now okay listen to your wife hmm? mama nothing let me even do it line by line nothing will kill you you will enjoy the fruit of your labor i see a vision god is giving to you eh? you're a woman of god this particular thing you are asking for has been long. Eh? There is a grace in the house, not me, God himself, that is visiting you. Amen. Go and calculate it two weeks. Lift up your hands. Father, visit. No, lift it up. Don't show me. Lift it up. There is a visitation in two weeks. Father, give it to her. Holy Spirit, touch. Every old man and old woman standing in your front. Out. I see financial favor. Financial favor. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Huh? I'm seeing doors. Huh? These doors were like these. These doors were like stones. Huh? Are you understanding what I'm saying? They, they were, these stones were blocking you. So you keep marching, keep marching, keep marching. But the Lord said that in 2023, He will start to manifest Himself through you. In your family, you will build a house that they will ask questions. How did you get this money? Are you understanding what I'm saying? It's like a bungalow. It's a street business. Eh? But I won't mention it so that people will not know. Uh, is a secret but the lord is what is what is your woman because the lord is saying let your wife go to the highest level of education 
Madam, where did you stop in your education? Huh? Yes. Let's, there, is, there is something in your wife. When you bring 20 million, your wife will be able to bring five. Are you understanding what I'm saying? There is something great about this woman. Don't look down on her. There is something great. She does not only know how to cook. God has only also blessed her to know how to bring money. Invest in her. Are you understanding me? You're about to get a call by this week. We are entering. So God will lead you into success. I, I, I saw you, Papa, I, I saw you changing his suit because of the testimony. Eh? And don't be, sometimes you have the heart to give, but because of, eh? keep giving. Don't stop. The Lord is flashing me to you. Come, come. There is nobody in this line, so I will start from that line again. So sorry. I hope you're being careful of sugar. You are sure. You are sure. What about mommy? She take, because I'm seeing, I'm seeing the devil try to attack with diabetes. So be careful. No, if you have it, I will say. But I'm asking. Stop taking cold water. Hmm? Cold water. Because arthritis is in your family. Hmm? Stop taking cold water. The Lord will bless you. I see one of your children God wants to honor. Hmm? How old is your first son? Four son. That's 30. Huh? Four son, 30. He's 30. He's 30. Is he here? Yes. He's not here? He's here? First son, not first daughter. Where is he? I saw God sending him somewhere. And when he came back, they began to call him ritualist. Where is he? I saw success. This guy is about to get to a house in Lekki. Eh? But the only thing I see that will be a problem is bad friends. Eh? Where, where is him? Madam, I saw you in the altar. Where, your husband is here? Where is him? I saw you in the altar. You were ministering, but your husband refused you. Sir, you're the husband of the beautiful wife. Is, are, you, are you angry? Yeah, I know. That's why the rejected stone is the chief word. What did I say before? But bad word, bad friends. Foundation. Father, we thank you for his life. And then we need like two men to come here. It is settled. It is settled. In Jesus' name. We have two men. Apart from Papa, we need extra two men. Sir, will you allow this woman to do the work of God? Huh? Yes. You're sure? You will not be jealous. Your wife is beautiful in the ministry. You will not be what? You, are you sure you're not going to be jealous? If she's traveling for Abuja, you will not be jealous. You will be telling her, I will follow you. I see the spirit of jealousy in you. Very high. Madam, have they told you that you are into ministry? But sir, you will benefit because you will preach, you will prophesy. Father, we thank you for his healing. We thank you for his healing. Can I shake him? Father, we thank you for his healing. We thank you for his healing. That foundation challenge is broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Father, if you are the God that says, Abel, I have called you. He is my age group. He is also a first son. Father, no one as a first son will perish. Amen.
Father, you will heal all of us. You will make all of us in the name of Jesus. Father, we put the spirit, which is the divine spirit, a new encounter that tears will drop from his eyes and he will realize himself in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, for your divine blessing of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Sir, I'm seeing the Lord that is playing. After service, I want to go deeper with you. Eh? I can't say it separately. Let your daughter come down. How old is she? Eh? Otaro. How old is she? She's at the Tell her to calm down. She's single, right? She's married. Tell her to calm down. Whatever God is saying, tell her to what? To calm down. This family cannot die in shame. There is an honor. You see this man? God will not use me to do it. It is him God will use to bring the prosperity. And this mic that I'm carrying, forget it, he will carry it. Eh? Let nothing bother you. Eh? Relax this bit eh? so that you will not have it. You have one already? Eh? You have one. Relax, mommy, relax. Hmm? You will enjoy. It takes time. But you do what? You will enjoy. I'm seeing a house. It's through this man. Eh? We will close today. You will we'll talk. Thank you so much. You are a very jealous man. Very, very jealous. But you are here now panicking. Eh? Oh yeah, madam. I will send you to I'll send you to Abuja this afternoon to go and preach. You will stay there for five days. Eh? Your wife say my husband is lying. <laughs> madam, come. There is a fake prophet you are going to come across. The man who is going to tell you that your husband is not meant for you. That he is the one. No, stand there. So, Papa, give me oil. Oil. They don't transfer anointing through relationship. Negative relationship. Is that true? You won't be deceived. And the Lord is talking about humility. Do you have up to three children or more than you have three? I'm also seeing the oil upon your son. Do you have a son? Two girls, two boys, and one girl. Give it to Papa to pray. Give him, let him pray for it. And bring it. I see you calling the names of people. So are you working? You have a job. Huh? You are okay. If you don't do the work of God, God will scatter many things in your life. Oh. Thank you, sir. Can you shift this thing? To tie this thing, no day cheap. Oh. Father, we thank you. No, stand, stand. I'm tall. I'm not short. Somebody come and stand at the back. Father, anoint this woman drastically, beyond measure. Let your anointing increase in her. Let your power increase in her. Let the prophetic grace come to impart her in the name of Jesus. Success, righteousness. Your holiness, your love, humility, submission will be seen in you. Father, do this before me in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Touch. Guide her. Rakate lekete zikato ikaba 
There is somebody in the choir that is about to wait. Everybody in the choir, lift up your two hands. There is somebody in the choir that is about to wait. I'm seeing wedding. As your two hands are lifted above your head, the Holy Spirit will pick you. You just moved to the next person. It becomes they are now two, not just one, two. Now I'm saying three. Brakata. Take it. There are, there are these two persons. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, where are those persons? As I count one to seven in this choir that is about to wed. You are about to wed. You are about to wed. You are about to wed. Holy Ghost one. Holy Ghost two. Holy Ghost three. Holy Ghost four. Holy Ghost five. Holy Ghost six, seven. Touch. Yes, I can feel the electrocution from the leg. Yes, to your knees, to your waist, to your stomach, to your chest, to your hands, to your head. That ring, God is giving you that ring. The marine husband can never stop you from settling down this year, next year. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your hands. Focus and concentrate. The Holy Spirit is speaking to somebody. There are two. Going to three. Jesus. 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 Lord Jesus. Who is that person? Why have they captured that young girl? Why have they captured you so much? Freedom, 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 freedom. Freedom. Freedom, 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 freedom from that marine kingdom, freedom, freedom. I say freedom, 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 freedom. Yes, they can't hold you captive. You can't even hold God. The spirit of God is stronger than you. Holy Spirit, who is that person? Yes, yes, touch, 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 touch. Touch, 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 touch. Yes, yes. I'm seeing you walk into the altar. They can't stop you. Rikabo Shanta. Yes, they can't stop you. They can delay you, but now it is over. They can't stop you. They can't stop you in the month of March 2023. In the month of March 2023. They can't stop you. They can't stop you. They can't stop you. You have done everything possible, but they can't stop you. Barakuta Lava Shanta. I hear God. He said, Is he? Touch, touch, touch. There is another young girl there, too. In the congregation, lift up your hand. The Lord is touching you over there. Marriage certificate. That is what I'm saying. Holy Ghost. God will use you. You will manifest God. You will give birth when the time comes. But the Lord said in the month of March 2023, it's for you. They can't deny it. Take it now. Take it now. Take it. Don't waste my time. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. You will travel abroad. You will come back with testimonies. Keep holding her. Hold up. Jesus. Your parents. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. You can't be rejected. Yes. This guy that is holding this phone, the this, this guy holding this camera. <laughs> uh, where is your wife? Go and bring her. Both of you will not divorce. 
in the name of Jesus. I'm not done with you, Mama. What? You have to go back and meet him. Leave that daughter. That daughter cannot put her son down. Is the daughter here? Where is she? In and out. When will you go back? Why are you joking? Can I talk? Do they know him in this church? They know him in this church. Go back and meet your daddy. Are you the one holding her? Huh? Madam, whatever the situation is, go back to your go back to your not just husband, to the love of your life. And when you go there, do like this. Go back. They know him in this church. I would have said something, but I will keep quiet. Go back. Let no children put, don't use children as an excuse. Go back to your husband. This, this, this your this is, the, this is the husband of your youth. Do you tell him the people who approaches you? He's aware. Do you trust her? You, sure? you trust him? Because we're in the church? Lift up your, touch your hands a bit. Hold your, just one hand, just one hand. Lift this hand. No, no, no. Like this. Like this. If both of you divorce, you will suffer. If both of you what? Both of you will suffer. This thing is the will of God. Remember when you want to marry, how difficult? Eh? So what could be the problem now? Are you getting me? Why, you, why double thought between both of you? Because what you are thinking, sometimes she's thinking it. This sex life, you must increase it. After giving him food, the next thing is what? Don't complain. Eh? Don't what? Don't complain. Sir, fire the gold. I'm seeing twin. How many years is this marriage? A year? Eh? I'm seeing twin. If these children come, I'm seeing prosperity. Are you understanding me? This is the will of God. There's no going back. Eh? There's no going back. You know, one of you were saying, Oh, don't worry. Don't just be patient. When we marry, we will climb the roof. You, you will jump down. Bah! But now, what is going on? Eh? Be big dog. Those things people used to say before you marry, do it now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do what? Do it now. Papa, please come. Papa, please come. I see the Lord also using your wife. So there are some revelations she will give to you. Eh? Papa, please lay your hand on, on your daughter. No, 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 no. Don't kneel down. The anointing will come. 
this this money keeps it's like i will get your phone number and save it every two two months i'll be checking you have you reached if you don't reach the money don't come assemblies of god woman high five how you doing this is new level i'm seeing in your hand but manage your husband where is him huh? manage your husband call him to come professor huh? don't be angry you love seeing ladies who are looking very sexy and beautiful wouldn't you like your own wife to look like that so why is she not acting like assemblies of god his church daddy daddy were you there in their house your husband your husband loves women who takes time to make up you, you've not observed it before your husband loves women who put eyelashes. So if he's telling you, all these things, I don't like it. Scam. Buy. Put on. Look attractive. For who? You say what? It's not for a bow. It's for your husband. Because the level I'm seeing this man going to, they will be saying you need a young girl. Why you, you are young? They are seeing you as old. Are you understanding what I'm saying? In the house, those things you are wearing, stop. God said, buy night gown. Eh? Am I talking? Buy night what? Night gown. The only person you will attract is him, not me. Nothing concerns me and you. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Eh? And another thing, don't be the type of wife who is just there. Show love. When he's sitting, hey, honey, mwah, you go, you come. Don't be dull because I'm seeing you, you are dull in this marriage. Hmm? The prosperity is coming. So you need to upgrade. Every successful marriage, they do what? They upgrade. If it's bomb shots, we are it in the house. Is it your boyfriend? Is it not your husband? We are it. We are singlet attract only him because the house i am seeing is a car that we park like three is it there's a car space for three people eh? this one that is holding this one i'm seeing 2020 2018 so look attractive for him hmm? when nights come we are your eyeglass if you need to read anything remove makeup eh? Is your wife not assemblies of God kind of woman? You are? Don't worry, I saw handkerchief cleaning your eyes. Hmm? I saw the Lord visiting your family. Lift up your two hands. You will live. You will not die. Blessings of God in your marriage. <laughs> it is settled. Hmm? Where you are living, I'm seeing serpent spirit. Hmm? Trying to. How is your financial life? Eh? I see serpent swallowing what you have. Eh? But as you go back to sleep, in that vision, you will kill it. In Jesus' name. Are you understanding me? You will kill it. Eh? The Lord is taking you to VI. Do you people have anything to do in VI? No. Your husband is here? He didn't come today. The Lord is taking you to VI. Come. But we pray against the spirit of destruction. Hmm? You understand what I'm saying? 
Have you seen it? You, have you caught him? Huh? Be patient. Huh? You will enjoy. Huh? Give me your hand. Father, bless her financially. Bless that marriage in the name of Jesus. I saw Canada for your children. How many do you have? Four. I saw Canada. Can you apply? You, you applied before. They denied you. I see Canada. 2023 ending. It, it will happen. And I see you in an organization of women, political women. Do you have any relationship with politics or political women? God is giving you the connection. But this house I'm talking about in VI is worth 120 million. I don't care, but God will give you. Are you understanding me? Your husband and you will become honorable. Eh? Anyhow, God wants to do it. Are you understanding me? I see you owning a shop. Hmm? Like a boutique. What do you do now? Huh? Online what? Online. I saw, I saw online. I think, I, sorry. I saw boutique. A very massive shop. Huh? This. Ha, have you seen Papa? You, you brought him to Papa? When, huh? Madam, receive money in the name of Jesus. Hola, hola, hola. Where, where's, your, where's, your, where's your husband? Please. Uh, what's your name? Huh? Mary James. Where's Mary J, husband? Come on. I'm seeing both of you in the United States of America, Florida specifically. Have you been there before? Have you applied there before? US, Florida. Can you, how many children? You people should start the process. Hmm? Your color is dying in this country. Hmm? Ejima, on our two Mario, can they look alike? Now my brother, now my brother. Akwaibo. That's Akwaibo people view. But you guys are looking alike. Big cheek, big cheek. America is waiting for you guys. This is the direction God is giving. Eh? Because there is a change of wealth. Eh? I'm not saying as you are tall. Eh? You are very tall now. There are people who are taller. Who are going to be following you all about. I see you more like another...
He, his father is alive. He's dead. His father is also yellow like him. Oyibo. Is your father fair in complexion? I'm, eh? Your mom. I'm seeing a white man standing in front of you, trying to hold you. Eh? As the man of God was praying, he was holding you. Lift up your hands. Shift that seat backward. And they were holding you. You were sitting on the ground. So there is something losing you now. Eh? There is lose. Nine months from now, you will understand what I'm saying. Huh? I saw you coming back to ask him for wisdom in abroad for something. And he sent you a paper to help you for something. That foundation is gone. Tuck! Bring him up. Bring him up. Bring him up. Before you will die, you will travel to 32 nations. The money you will touch, eh? The money you will touch is beyond what you have thought of. Financial open door. Take! Can I talk to you? I'm, I'm talking to everybody. Believe him. Now her son. Oh God, if Cook don't finish now. Madam, this is where you are living. There are witchcraft. Eh? Witchcraft. You, you are aware of it. Are you not seeing the sign? There are witchcraft. Leave that place. Hmm? Abraham, leave your father's house. Eh? That compound is not good. Leave that place. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I'm seeing financial favor. Blessing upon you. Your revelation will be clear. The intervention of the Holy Ghost will increase your prayer life. Touch. Are you doing business? Yeah, because I'm seeing something eating your hand. You're not seeing your money. Yeah? You're working, but your money, you don't know where it's going. Lift up your two hands. Holy Spirit, touch. Touch. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Jesus. Empower her. That witch, you will die. Amen. Holy Ghost, it is broken. Breakthrough in Jesus' name. Are you trying to have another child? You're done. Are you sure? Don't, don't be telling him he's a stubborn child. Hmm? Don't be, he's your son. Don't tell him he's not a stubborn child. Hmm? He's not. He has a great destiny. Huh? He has a great destiny. Mama, there is something inside of you. Can I talk to you? There is something inside of you that is... Jesus. They will not see your dead obituary picture in the name of Jesus. You will not die. Every spirit of death, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Nonsense. Come out. See, look at me. From two weeks, your body will start coming out. Eh? Your blood will be renewed. Are you understanding me? Thank you. Where is this pain on your leg? The pain on your leg. This, this one? Father, we pray for your divine healing. In the name of Jesus. Healing. 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 In the name of Jesus. Healing. Healing. In the name of Jesus. There is a spirit husband. Have you, have you ever experienced this encounter? Maybe in the dream, you are with a man. You have not. 
there is this spirit man that I'm seeing holding the hands of your children, claiming them. How many children do you have? Five. Are things better for them? Things are, work things are working for them. This man is holding the hands of your children and saying he's in charge. So whatever that man is, because in the realm of the spirit, I saw you driving different cars. Different cars. Have they been telling you how successful you are? If not, I saw success through your children. Hmm? And I saw Omugo outside the country. Is your daughter married? The Lord is about to take them outside. So when they go, they burn. This is where you go for Omugo. Eh? But be careful of lake poison. Increase your prayer life. The blessings of God is upon you. Father, we thank you. Despite she would have done the work of God. But she is ready. She will serve you. In the name of Jesus. Every man blocking your way. We scatter them. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. And amen. Thank you mommy. Mama. God bless you. Nothing will do you. We pray for your health. Strength. I'm seeing God visiting that your daughter. Huh? Stop being afraid. Hmm? Nothing will do you. Sometimes you have fear. You just stay. Fear will come. Stop it. God is with you. Huh? Nothing will do you. Show me your hands. These hands that are clean, may they bring blessings to your children. In Jesus' name. The reason why I called you back is because I saw God giving you something, but you backed it. You, 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 backed, you backed what God is doing. Lift up your two hands. Father, bless her. Father, bless her. Have patience. Don't sell. Hmm? There is money coming for the establishment. Huh? You need money now for something. Don't sell. Favor. This is around you. Money is around you. Don't sell. If you sell it and use it to do this thing, it will look like a waste. So the devil is playing prank. Don't sell. Hmm? Don't sell, please. I will tell you something when we close. How are you doing? Lift up your why are you not why are you not there? Huh? Come let me show you. You're not seeing. Come. Why are you not there? You better pass them. Huh? When are you joining the choir? Choir, are you rejecting her? Oh yeah, come. Who is our head? Mommy. Oh yeah, carry this one. No hug and finish. No come by your practice. So. Lift up your two hands. You will not be misled to evil things in the name of Jesus. You will not join what you don't know. God will use you and bless you. Your voice is coming to replace us in sekete. That thing your mother is worried about, God will use you to give her joy. In the name of Jesus. 
who, who is your parents? You are your parents. Who, who is your parents? What is she? Where, where is your parents? Oh, no, you know, no, your mother. Do they flog you on your head? Do they used to beat you on your head? Do you knock him on his head? Sometimes. The Lord said, let nobody touch him on his head again. There is a little of something in your son's life. Uh, he's a pastor. Huh? He came with what? I said his name is Samson. He said his name is Samson. I saw a connection between Samson in the Bible with him, with his head. But this one is not the green. It is the... So let nobody knock him. But the same reason why he said his name is Samson is the same reason he should be careful of women. He has a great future. Before this guy will become 15 years, you will understand what I'm saying. Hmm? What do you want to become, engineer? Doctor? You want to rap? Which one now? Eh? You want to become pilot as engineer? Lift up your two hands. Your two hands. What God is giving to you is beyond pilot. Eh? You are the one to have a private jet. They will drive you. You won't drive them. Because this thing that your husband is suffering. Eh? Where is he? Huh? He's a, a Muslim. This thing that your dad is struggling, God refused to give it to him. He said, I will give it to him. Hmm? So that time you are enjoying, let them don't say you use medicine on your son. This boy will love you. To marry will be difficult. Eh? He's seeing what you are going through. To marry will be difficult. This one go marry, relieve yourself, come out. This one way they carry, carry. She will marry and go. This one, no way. Are you understanding me? Because I'm seeing an attachment. Eh? Don't worry, the time is coming. You tell him, go, 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 go. He will not. Because of what you've gone through. Hmm? There is no regret. Father, he will never be a wayward. No eyes will see him. But favor will hold him. Your school, you will be trained by God in the name of Jesus. You will be brilliant. Is it is he in primary school right now? Because I'm seeing in his father's family, they try to purge like vulture. Eh? Do you forget things? You forget things. I'm seeing vulture feeding on his brain. But the Lord said, do you know what I'm saying? When I started failing when I was in primary 5, they were just promoting me. Let them just promote me. Primary 1, primary 2. I mean, just 1, just 2. But I was failing. Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing like when I was in school, I was we say lie. I was a failure. That's why God said, this is what they want to do to this boy. But God, it will never happen. I bring back your lost memory in the name of Jesus. Father, you are showing me tears from his eyes. Let your spirit dwell in this young man. Give him a wisdom of 30 years, 50 years. In the name of Jesus. Father, he will never go broke. He will never join Yahoo. He will never put his hand into evil things. But empower him. Make him brilliant. That thing you will invent through him, let it come fast. In the name of Jesus. It is settled. Don't cry. This is business. Huh? Is it going well? It's not going well. Please, before I leave Lagos, on Tuesday, I will give you 50,000. Be careful. Hmm? 
this thing is eating you. You know what I'm talking about. So you are waiting until you marry born. Are you married? When you marry born, you will now fat. No, the thing is eating you. I see you being lying on the hospital. Uh, if you join those people, uh, please take that woman's name. Uh, if you join those people, uh, God said he will preserve your life. Those people sitting down, if you join them, he will do what? Lift up your two hands. Every queen has a spiritual winch. Say you belong to her. I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Disappointment. Go! I will count one to seven. There is something that we leave. I'm seeing snake rolling. One, two, three, four, five, six. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, let your fire burn now. Six, seven, serpentine. This body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Come out! In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. I take away that power. Serpentine. This body is a body, is a body of the temple. And it's the temple of the Holy Ghost. Don't waste my time. Come out, come out. Where is your sister? Is she here? I command her to be healed wherever she is. In the name of Jesus. Every foundation that is not allowing these children to succeed in your family. God has visited you. The Lord said on the 19th of December, there is a good news. There is a good news. <laughs> it is settled. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, and amen. Is she your mother? Come. Lift up your hand. This is your daughter. Is she stubborn? Eh? <laughs> I'm seeing, I'm seeing a great future, but I'm seeing early pregnancy. The pregnancy will delay her. Let this girl go to school. Whatever you will do for she to go, let her go. Would you like to go to school? Would you like to go to school? Lift up your two hands. Whatever pattern that is going on in your father's village, in your father's family, will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit, every Oumiri spirit that said you will not serve God. You will not live a wayward life. Yes, come out. She's too young. You can't live a wayward life and a stubborn, rebellious life. I come against that marine spirit. Come out. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Yes, come out. Come out. 
in the name of Jesus give me the oil how can you be this young and be pregnant Shanta. come out in the name of Jesus your life cannot be cut short You will be contented with what you have in the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost is still working in her. Anointing of the Holy Ghost. Father, go through her. Envelop her. Take everything that does not belong to you from her life. Take it out. Take every evil spirit and foul spirit. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Be free. In Jesus' name. Bring her up. You will take life serious from today. In the name of Jesus. And you will sink to the glory of God. Holy Spirit, I walk with you as you walk with me. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Touch. You will speak in dimensions. You will hear and you will see. And the fear of God will be restored. Say to them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Are both of you friends? Huh? Shh, 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 shh. Both of you are close friends. Church friends. Just church friends. But you look like sisters. Please don't, don't hear what we are saying. Just go back. Where's the dad? The dad. What's your name? Your name? Eh? To Tolu Lope. Okay, this is your dad. I see your daughter living for London. London. Based on scholarship. Stop being afraid. Schol I saw scholarship on her head. The church is dead. We can't say amen. amen. Lift up your two hands. Are you, are you ready for God to use you? Are you sure? Look at my hand. Huh? Look at it very well. It needs, it needs, try to see visa. If you catch it in the spirit, the Lord will do it. Because this, this, is, this is scholarship. Because God is going to use you to take your family abroad. Scholarship, visa, UK, United Kingdom, London. Father, open our eyes. Open our eyes. Yes. 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 Scholarship. The school your mother did not go, you will get there. The place your parents didn't get, you will get there. They can't stop you any longer. Everything you have eaten that is not of God. Come out! Yes. They are manifesting from your foundation. The spirit of stubbornness. The spirit of distraction. The spirit of disobedience. The spirit of worldly things. Come out! Yes. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be free, be free, be free, be free. One, two, three, four, five.
touch it is settled put your hands together for god why why you were driving me to this place i see you muslim people surround you you know muslim people muslim you don't know muslim i'm seeing muslim people eh? favor is coming favor muslim people lift your two hands have they told you before that you're going to be a pastor eh? i see the author of god in your life eh? muslim not christians will not favor you i'm seeing more of muslims blessing you the lord wants to speak through her too touch new level new level new level new level take it visa a home that you bought reach out to many nations it is settled the lord is manifesting that's the lord manifestation hmm? there is something good about you eh? there is good news eh? Eh? there is good news eh? there is good news big good news eh? in six months time lift up your two hands there's good news your two hands there's good news I came because I stopped here. There is, there is good news. Mark his face. You will see him on TV. There is good news. 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 This house you're living now, you're managing it. I'm seeing you moving to two places. Uh, there is one small girl that I'm seeing here. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing the spirit of frog jumping, jumping. Who? Where is she? I'm even seeing more things in the life of the youth. Where's your mommy? She's the one. Lift up your two hands. You will not close your eyes. You will not be useless. That thing that is speaking in your father's family is gone. In the name of Jesus, God will use you. Let the tears of God come out from your eyes. Let the tears of God. That is his deliverance. The tears of God. He will use you. Don't let us sit down. Bring her up. He will use you. The tears of joy. Yes. Uh -huh. There is a preacher I'm seeing. Her name is called Bimbo that is dead. The spirit of that lady teaching is upon this young girl. The mantle. Lift up your two hands. Let the tears of your joy that is how god will manifest inside of you in very great future i'm seeing him this your children eh, are all working in the kingdom of god none of them is outside the kingdom they are all in the kingdom because you you have refused to do the work of god so this marriage that is like this now they, they are fighting are you understanding what i'm saying they are fighting everything your money your home your children your everything sir lift up your two hands you will never be a wayward in the name of jesus my son you will be great in life that woman that is controlling men in your father's family will not control you Amen. in the name of jesus leave him you marry spirit he's a pastor it is settled in jesus name 
We just did family deliverance. So. Eh? The remaining you lift up your hands. God is rest. What is this? God is restoring you in the name of Jesus. Careful where you go to in the night. Your parents are here. Come this side. Where, where are they? Anything past 6 p.m., don't go anywhere. Uh, stay in the door. Lift up your two hands. Do you send your daughter Aaron up by 6 7? Do you used to send that Aaron by 6 7? By 6, you make sure she's in the house, right? Be careful. Don't trust any boy. Even I'm the one. Don't trust. Don't trust any boy. As much as the boy is wearing trousers, don't trust him. Uh, because I'm seeing, I'm seeing somebody who loves him. But that one is not love. Uh, have you started talking to her about me? With open eye. Eh? To press for. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. No, that's your style. Okay, okay. Father, guide her. Come out. Madam, what you went through, your daughter will not go through it. Eh? What you went through, she will not go through it. Eh? Because I see her schooling in Manchester. Hmm? I see God visiting her. And she's also a daughter of God. I see three angels as she's talking. They are all surrounded. She and that, this one. There are angels standing. That was what attracted me. Eh? This is, these boys are planning rape. That's why she does not need to go outside. Eh? The angel of God is with her. What God will use her to do at the age of 20, some, 22, 23. How old is she now? 14. 14. Because between 20, 21, 22, 23, it will marvel you. Eh? God, speak. Take it! Come, come. Mama. You put your hand on your daughter's head. Lift up your two hands. Bless her. You will see the anointing that we move. Guide her. Is your mom here? She's not here.
precious woman in your family. We break her and her, and her connection to you in the name of Jesus. Let the Spirit of God come to you right now. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Deliver her from that spirit. In the name of Jesus, your life is in your hand. Hmm? Take a decision. That's why I don't want to use mic. There's only few of us that hear it. Are you hearing me? Please, everybody, can you stand up? Time is against me. I praise the Lord. Where's Daddy? Ah. Uh, I can talk to everybody here, but the problem is the time, eh? uh, is the time, not everybody. So I'm not leaving Lagos today, I'm not leaving tomorrow. Is tomorrow service here? If you want to come, you can tell I can, I can, can I come tomorrow evening? Yes, sir. Come tomorrow evening. Come with all the family people. Eh? I will drink juice. Eh? We will talk what God wants us to know. Are you understanding me? There is, a, there is a flood that is coming to Lagos. A very serious flood. Huh? A very what? And in the terms of this, your Tinibu, blah, blah, blah. Huh? There's going to be a great riot. Don't come out to shout for Peter Obi. Stay inside your... If you die, Nigeria is still moving on. Are you understanding what I'm saying? The movement that is starting, leave it for God. You are not the movement. God is the movement. Are you hearing me? Eh? That is what I'm saying. I'm seeing you driving. Mm? I'm seeing you driving. There's somebody you know abroad, a man. Eh? Are you married now? There is a man you know. That man is coming to give you dollars to distract you. Shh. Is coming to give you, to distract you. Let him know. We claim the money. We kill his feelings. In the name of Jesus. We do what? We claim the money. We kill his feelings. Are you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes I do, I do, I'm just looking at you. Know, look, on this woman, we don't get big belly. Eh? But another man food. I'm not jealous. But we kill his what? Feelings. Let him bring the money and give you. I say, Jay, for the long time. Oh my God, take ten thousand dollars. After that, I say, God bless you. Where's your husband? Let me speak to you and your husband. Let him not speak to you separate. Huh? You hear me? I, you and your husband will travel. Hmm? I see God say, choose any European nation. Huh? Both of you. I'm mostly in this choir, I'm seeing wedding. Eh? But God is saying, you're shakara too much. That's what the men are complaining. Shakara, shakara, shakara. I'm seeing shak eh? I'm seeing even this one, she, shakara. And the ones where they make shakara now, the ones where they even dress like assemblies of God. Shakara. Eh? Sir, I don't know what will happen. Eh? You will meet with a specific man of God. I see him as a name called David. Eh? I see a man called David. He's a man of God. He's a pastor. Eh? Eh? I see him. He picked you and took you somewhere. Eh? When God gives you money, be humble. Eh? When God gives you, from six years from now, they will call you ritualist. Eh? Uh, they will call you ritualists. You see whiskey, Davido, eh? don't be jealous of them. You will own a private jet. Mm -hmm. And you still love entertainment. Eh? I saw you in the entertainment and they were hyping you like this man they called Don Jazzy. Eh? But allow humility being you. 
Are you soon too? You will be a music director. Yes. I saw you be a music director. Mama, there is a reward coming, but some of your church members that are here don't like you. Eh? Some people here don't like you. They said, I can sing more than her. What is she doing? They don't like you. Eh? Don't worry, they will be making mistakes. You'll see them. They are here. Some of them are at your back. Some of them are at your side. They don't like you. They say you, they too do like, say you holy pass. But generally, holy are, holy are down. So make I follow them gossip. But there is a reward for everything. Shake me. There is an album that I'm seeing. An album. Is this song written? Eh? You've not written them. You have songs. I saw you in the bathroom. There were new glory. As you were sing, as you were taking a shower, song dropped rain as a rain. Water was dropping. I saw new song. And I saw that in this church there are three people that is about to replace Osinachi. I'm, I'm seeing her as one of the person. Where is the love of your life? Husband, come. Ah, good day, daddy. This is your sugar. Were you like this when you married her? No. You were slim. So what are you doing with weight? Eh? Answer me in Aliva. She likes it like this. Better soup. Better soup. Better soup. The Lord said, increase your income. Eh? Maintenance money. Ijikwe go. God said, increase this money you give to her. Are you not seeking for promotion? First from house. Then outside. First from where? If you increase this money, they will increase her. Eh? Not like this. Tomorrow you now join 2,000. 2,000 is no increment. Increment from like 10,000. Yes, yeah. eh? yes, sir. I don't talk with him, they make her happy. Increment of what? 10,000. This woman will give you money. Your husband will be your, don't let anybody be her manager. Anywhere she's going. Follow her. If they say you don't trust your wife, what will concern you and trust. Now your manager will be, the manager work. If she they go a show, be manager. If you not come back, be husband. You understand? Eh? Do exercise. Hmm? This sugar level is increasing. Eh? Do you check your sugar level? Eh? It goes up, comes down. Down. Always check it. Eh? Live long. Don't chop our money. Not only she that we chop your own. The same sugar. Put your hands together for God. But the Lord is restoring strength. Lift up your two hands. And another thing, put your mind into it. You are not too old for it. Put your heart in your heart. There is a video your wife will do that will take her places. A musical video that she will do. Look for money. Gather this money. Contribute. Do that video. 
eh? this video we bring her out every Sunday programs 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 this is 2023 I saw her banner I saw her banner and I see you you like something like milk my prophetess ks, ks, ks. hello she's gossiping no she's gossiping. something like that's what that woman just hold on that's your color because I saw you you like this type of thing that's what I saw you wear it in a big banner eh? your wife color will change eh? she'll be looking lighter no cream lighter you do exercise eh? so that it will get to a point you keep carrying her like this now you cannot jack her you understand so do exercise so you understand so from her connection you two will be connected there is a yoruba politician eh? your, your husband have sweet mouth eh? <laughs> you have sweet mouth through these sweet mouths, they will call you and say, run this site for us. Let's push you with 10 million. Don't say, I'm not a politician. Collect the money. We will plan it for you. Me, my mouth is not sugar. I will come, we will go join, we will do tea. Are you understanding me? Sir, please come tomorrow. Between both of you, is any of you that is a banker? Any of you that is a banker? Connected to bank. Huh? Where's your wife? Which one? The one with Adi Ed? She? She's the banker. Can you become a manager? With this? Uh, huh? Because I'm seeing bank. I'm seeing manager. Lift up your two hands. The Lord is visiting you. But this woman sometimes is crying. Uh, do you used to hurt her? No, they look at me. Look me. Do you used to hurt her? You hurt her feelings most times. So she cannot challenge you. So she turns. And you, you turn. Learn to cuddle your wife. How many children? Two. Nobody you put them for this condition. When they like this. See the belly? I will never born finish. Stop making her cry. She needs your companionship. Companionship is not money, it's talking and holding. You understand? You have two children. It was not communion that got her pregnant. Hold your wife. If you're walking, hold on the hand. Are you understanding me? Father promotion. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing official car. I'm seeing official car, official house. And this bank will also give you money for your children's school fees. Your own, I will not talk. Buy this woman a gift today and buy her ice cream. And before the ice cream finish, make sure you'll be the one giving her to be leaking. If you don't do it, I will not talk to you tomorrow. Are you understanding me? Huh? Are you a public officer? You, you, you speak in public and all that. But what do you do now? You do business. I see you as a person that is standing, talking to people. But these people you were talking to looks like politics, business and economy in a speech after that speech somebody fold an envelope and gave to you as an invitation and what was inside that check was what you've not received in your life before so there is an invitation for you to speak the lord said train yourself keep speaking rehearse study eh? your spirit is disturbing me it's talking to me to talk to you eh? you are telling god god let him talk to me who is the mother? Who is the mother of my mama? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that uh, our children. None of them is a helper out. 
I'm seeing 80 something years. Mama, how old are you? 80. She's 85. So that's the Lord said, I'm seeing 80 something years. Mama, I join faith. Is she your mother? Wait. wait. Oh, okay. Wow. Mama, you will reach 90. Amen. You will reach 90. They will celebrate your birthday. Amen. But this thing that is disturbing you is not old age. It's arthritis. I think they've told you it's arthritis. God said you should take uh, what they call Holy Spirit. What did you say? Something like I'm seeing the medicine they wrote one milligram. Um, something like uh, it's an ampi clause, but it's 1000 milligram. But they wrote it one. Take it one in the morning, one in the night. Take it for straight seven days. You will come back. Uh, because I'm also seeing infection. Uh, infection and that's this thing. When you take it from now to church, when you come, they will be looking at you. You will see the difference. Uh, Mama, start drinking Ragulis water. Don't be drinking that water again. It's bacteria. Uh, water to drink. Let them give you Ragulis water. If they can't give you, I'll be buying for you every week. If your children are stingy, me, I'll be buying for you. I'm just saying if they are stingy, me, I will buy. Hmm? You will not die. Hmm? Because I see you going for your grandchildren wedding. Hmm? And you, I saw you going for their child dedication. Because one of your grandchild is, is it 20 years now? Eh? One of your grandchild is up to 20. I'm seeing a man asking for marriage. So you will go. Eh? Mama, nothing will kill you. Eh? God called you to be a pastor, but you don't want to be. You, you are running, you, 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 you. You are running away. I also saw the anointing on you, you. I thank God that you will serve him. Hmm? Are you hearing me, sir? Auntie, are you married? You are single. You are searching or they are searching for you. You are searching. No, they will search for you. Eh? They will search for you. But there is a problem. You like money too much. Because of money, you married the wrong man. You married the wrong man because of money. But when you married him, he became poor. Then this one that is helping became more rich. You can't regret. So that if he swap, then they swap. So don't use money eh, to marry. Are you hearing me? Don't use money. And you're ready to suffer for any man. To fear, to fear, to fear. To fear. That's not the right way. Eh? Please, everybody, stand up. Let me see something. If you're coming tomorrow evening and you are going to come with 10 persons, let me see you. Come to the climb the altar. If I'm coming tomorrow, I will invite 10 persons. Tomorrow, come by 5. 5.30. A national program by 6. So if, if you come by 4. Okay, 4. Daddy, come. Number 2 person, he said he will bring 10. Daddy, if you bring 10, I will sow a seed of 10,000 to you. If, you. if you bring 10 people, 10,000, come out. I will come with 10 people. 10,000, come. They thought I don't do it. I will come with 10 people. 10,000. I will come with 15, 15. I will come with 20, 20. But if you come with 5, I will give you 4. Come out. So we don't have soul winners. Che, God forbid. 
Daddy, may you be transferred to another place where they will have soul winners. Familiar spirit is working here. Ten people, ten thousand, come. You are ashamed of yourself. Come out, nobody have your time. I will bring ten people, come out. And they choose, they choose, they choose, they, 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 they be thinking. Be thinking. See, you. Where's leader? Our leader, you are here, your guests are not coming out. That one concerned you, go sit down now. 10 person, 10,000, you are still sitting. Even bank away, no customer, we go carry on church, they think. You people don't have toasters. Then, you can bring five people, go. If you can bring five people, go. How many can you bring? Five. Eh? Ten. Mama, don't calculate. Mama, you can't bring ten people. You can't bring ten people. Hey, Mama, where people sabi? You wait and sabi. No go if you bring ten people. Auntie, Mama, what of you? So, you two, you can't bring ten people. Eh? No, you can send them. When they come under your name, we'll transfer the money to you. You. Huh? If you bring 15. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, these are my people. Okay. No wahala. How many? Five? Ten? Ten? How many? Ten. Five, five. It's okay. I won't write your name. So when we come tomorrow, if I open my purse, I have nothing less than 70,000 with me. So I don't work without money. So tomorrow, I, will, I didn't come to collect money. Me, I came to be a giver. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Me, I am a destiny helper. I don't pray for destiny helper. But you know why? So that I can't be poor. People who are looking for destiny helpers are the people who does not know what they want. Me. God is my helper, so I'm happy. So if you bring it, you don't need to come out. So I want to keep the microphone, lift up your hands, stretch it towards me. Father, as they go back home, may your light never cease to shine upon them. I pray before their landlords will call them, the house rent is ready. As they go back to their business, customers will come. I pray, may you shine your countenance upon them. Put your hands, bring out your ATM card. Put your hand in your bag if you don't have your ATM. Put your hand in your bag. Don't be afraid. Don't bring out any money. Bring out your bag. Some people bring out your phone. If you can hold every access money can come, hold it. Father, you just instructed me this. I don't know if it's miracle money. I don't care if you believe it or not. But this one I am talking is a favor. As you leave that ATM, that phone, as you put your hand in your pocket at the same time, may the good Lord that provides, may he provide for you. May he favor you. In the name of Jesus, there are seven people as you go to your house the alert will come before you sleep by 12 a.m the money will come before you wake up tomorrow morning for the testimonies the money has come and there is somebody here that will come to tell you will you marry me and you have no option no you must tell him yes if you want to tell him no, your mouth will bend. It will bend and say yes. You will wear that engagement ring. I said you will wear that engagement ring. This week, they will surprise you. This week, you will be blessed. Expecting of visa will be accepted. In the name of Jesus. 
There is somebody said, I love this Abada. If I have money, I will sow. Don't worry. Before December 5th, your own is with, 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 is with the tailors. In the name of Jesus, you shall be blessed. There are three people being bothered. They've not entered flights before. They are being bothered. It's people's problem, oh, that they've not entered flights. Just keep, your, just keep your ID card. Second week of December, you will enter. In the name of Jesus. And God bless you. I'll be waiting for you by tomorrow, 4 p.m.